what a great way to end this day of anime and manga for Wednesday. Another chapter of Horimiya has finally come out. And as per usual, I'm here to bring you all the monthly chapter review of Horimiya. Now, before I really dive into the chapter, I have a lot of Chibits ask me every time I do these reviews each month. They always ask, like, what is this series about? Is it worth reading? So I'm going to briefly just say what it's about. It's a romance series that can be very mature at times and uncliché at a lot of times. Not necessarily as uncliché as Ordi Monogatari from what I have seen, but Hordi Mia is a very good romance and personally one of my favorites to read monthly. So if you're looking for a good romance series, why don't you give it a shot? You might like it. So anyways, dive into the chapter. So spoiler territory if you haven't, you know, read this yet. So this chapter of Hordi Mia completely ends the school festival. The school festival is completely done now. After this chapter, it's said and done. And for the most part, I'm kind of glad that we finally got this arc done because mainly it was there to just serve as a little bit of romance progression between, you know, our characters, Horty and Miyamura. But also the main point of the arc from what I got was that Miyamura and Sengoku were trying to realize that not all festivals are really that bad. They need to enjoy themselves and have fun and make, you know, memories. And that's kind of what this was. Like, this entire festival was to make memories for Miyamura and Hori. That, that's what it was. And then Sengoku. Likewise with Sengoku. So, the, that's what the entire arc was kind of about. That was simple, straight to the point. And at the end of this chapter, we come to realize that Miyamura actually enjoyed the festival and he had a lot of fun and he will come back to another one in the future if he ever gets a chance for any others. So that's kind of what this chapter really tries to emphasize and that's the main thing you want to get when it comes to these past couple chapters is that it was mainly for Miyamura and Sengoku to accept their school festival. So besides that, what was this, you know, chapter really about? Mainly comedy, standard romance, and different cute little moments that we've come to know and love and expect from Hori and Mia, especially some of the moments at the end of the chapter where Hori dress ups in the cheerleader outfit, which makes me kind of fucking happy, because, I mean, I felt cheated when I saw Hori in, you know, the guy outfit, I'm like, fuck, like, you know, I just wanted to see Hori in, you know, a cheerleader outfit, because, I mean, seriously, she's the main female character, and I know Mia Murrow wants to see his girlfriend in that type of attire, so I'm like, damn it, just... Hori, come up! And she actually did it, so I'm kind of happy about that, even though she has no opi. And... Anyways, back on point, okay? Just that moment right there, very sweet moment, and you get to see how, you know, close Hori and Miyamura is, which is very obvious. We already know they're very close, so there's not really nothing really that major there. If they were kissing or something, then, you know, I would go in depth with that scene. But for now, though, that scene was like... It's there, it's cute, and it's a great way to end this arc of Hori Mia upon. Now, the comedy segments, especially with the Miyamura and Sengoku segments of this chapter, was pretty fun. Like, I had a good time reading those parts of this chapter, especially when, you know, about Sengoku was getting serious, like he became like a shogun. He, he was like, I'm gonna do this, I wanna win this, I wanna win this shit, and <laughs> that's how he was acting. And so, to see how he was trying to grab that, you know, bandana off of Miyamura, just trying to grab it, and he was like, doing this, and then Miyamura's like, dodge it. That was funny. It, it, it was so funny. So, yeah, I mean, chapter of Horimiya, as per usual, very, very simple. And it just concludes the arc. So, overall, I enjoyed it. It was a fun arc to read. I cannot wait to see what's coming up next. Hopefully, we get into a good romance progression arc. Like, I want to see one of those arcs that happened a while back. You remember that one mature arc where it implied that Hori and Miyamura had sex? You remember that? Hopefully, we get to see more maturity when it comes to, like, their romance progressing, if you get my point. Like, I want to see their romance and their relationship grow even further. And I, I really do hope, as I've said before, I really hope this series progresses into college. I, I really do, because it's a series that really would benefit from progressing into college and seeing, like, home life with Hori and Miyamura living together. It would definitely be a great way to continue this series past, you know, school life. But we'll see if, you know, the manga could go just down that route in the near future. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. I will see you all in the next month's chapter of Hori Mia. Please be safe. Chibi out.